So there's a new Kingdom Hearts game out and it's pretty cool. But uh, let's put a little asterisk on, on that. As most people know, the Kingdom Hearts franchise doesn't shy away from the spin-off. And while it's complicated to call a game like Chain of Memory is a spin-off, it was still having crucial story, Melody of Memory is definitely the most spin-off-y of the series. That's not to say there isn't important story stuff in the game, but if that's all you're looking for, you may want to just do a cutscene search on YouTube, because the gameplay definitely comes to the forefront of this one. With the first for Kingdom Hearts, Melody Memory takes a page from Final Fantasy Theatrhythm by being a rhythm game. If you don't like rhythm games, then this game pr probably won't change that. I mean, watch the rest of this video still, but uh, mem Melody Memory doesn't do anything too crazy with the genre. It works just like any other rhythm game where you hit notes to music, but what does make it different is that hitting the notes is staged as combat, where you actually hit different enemies. I actually have mixed feelings about this design element, because I found while playing it that this setup makes it hard to time your button presses at times, and the screen can get very busy and confusing with too much going on. While in other rhythm games, notes flying by adds to the challenge, it feels more unintentional with Melody of Memory. The 3D models used for the notes just gets too jumbled up at times and blocky from seeing oncoming notes, and occasionally the camera even moves to a spot that hinders your vision. Another aspect I found annoying is jumping, and while there's no issue with this in idea, the game uses flying enemies for both the jumping attacks and non-jumping attacks, so it can easily trick your eye based on the model flying towards you. It's really annoying. There's clearly some bad game design elements that come with the rhythm combat the game uses, but for the most part, I think the concept as a whole works by being unique and is actually very charming to see. I really like how the game truly feels like a trip through memory lane by having it be reminiscent of quickly flying through each game. You really get the feeling of traveling through the Kingdom Hearts timeline by the game's use of fairly simple things like changing enemy types, background scenery, who you play as. These all stack up to match the feel of the songs, the worlds that accompany them, and specific moments in the Kingdom Hearts games. In fact, while I was playing certain songs, it was like a flashback to specific moments in my childhood memory playing those parts of the original games. I think this is what makes this game so great for Kingdom Hearts fans. It's basically a refresher of the entire series, while also having a refreshing form of fairly chill and relaxing gameplay. The gameplay is practically designed for something that you can just pick up and play whenever, which also makes it great to play on the Switch. Although, I do find some faults with this approach in some ways. With the lack of a new story, I felt it challenging to keep my interest. If the game padded out new cutscenes more frequently, there would definitely be more of an incentive to keep going, but with how it is, I found myself quickly losing motivation for continued play sessions over long stretches of time. Others may not feel the same way, this is fairly reliant on your enjoyment of the gameplay. Personally, I've only really played the Persona dancing games, and there was also that one time I was streaming Thrillville for the PS2 and spent over an hour trying to get the perfect score in a pointless cheerleading minigame. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a hundred at a hundred perfect rhythm on this stupid fucking Thrillville for the PS2 cheerleader minigame. We did it. We did it. We did it. But hey, they don't call me the Twitch streamer that got a 100% perfect score on the cheerleading minigame to throw on the PS2 for nothing. Anyway, I did find the gameplay fairly tiring after a bit, and I wish there was a bit more new content to keep me going while I played, as the only things that kept the game feeling fresh were slight alterations of how the gameplay worked like in boss battles, it, it really doesn't change much, and the sheer joy I felt in hearing Kingdom Hearts music. Kingdom Hearts music is obviously great, and Yoko Shimomura is a masterful musician. Just the concept of a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game alone, even if it was devoid of new story, honestly could have been enough to sell me in this game. It goes without saying that every song in this game is great, and how it translates into an interactable track in the game has its highs and lows of how well the rhythm game aspect is translated. For the most part, though, that's all great too. One little thing I enjoyed, though, is the game's sound effects. In rhythm games, when you hit the notes during tracks, a sound effect will play to let the player know they hit it, but Melody and Memory might have the best use of that I've seen in a rhythm game. Here, just listen. Ah! 
The sound effects just flow so well with the music, and they're varied enough where it all stays interesting and makes the gameplay actually feel like combat. Now, this is such a small thing, I doubt it'll have any relevance in whether or not you buy this game, but I really like the sound design, okay? Alright, I'm gonna talk about the new story stuff now. I won't spoil the actual content of it, but if you don't want to know anything at all, just skip the time on screen, okay? So there's not any actual new story until you beat basically the entire game, which is kind of annoying. Like I said, it would have been nice if it was padded out a bit more with cutscenes as you go in the story. Instead, you get cutscenes of Kairi explaining what's happened in previous games, which is also nice and all. Lord knows I need constant reminders of everything that's happened in Kingdom Hearts history, but the amount of new story is honestly disappointing to me. I never got my hopes up there would be a ton of story in this game, but everything essentially amounts to an intro of the next game in the series. There's nothing too crazy they reveal in the new cutscenes either, some eyebrow razors, but no pogs. It's certainly intriguing where they'll go next, but it was sort of just a small nudge ahead, sort of a window into the future. If you're wondering how much new stuff is in the game, my switch screen went dim twice during the ending cutscenes, and that's after playing the game for a little over seven and a half hours, take of that what you will. It's basically just Nomura saying, hey, hey, check out the next game. It's it's gonna it's gonna be real cool to check that check that one out uh, when, uh, when whenever whenever it, whenever it comes out. In terms of the actual writing, they did my girl Kyrie dirty. <laughs> so, so dirty in her own game. It, it doesn't leave me excited for where they'll go with Kyrie's character, maybe a little bit, maybe a teensy bit. There's one detail I do like, but again, Kyrie gets shafted pretty hard in this game. I, I, I'm just waiting for an actual game with Kyrie where, you know, where, where she can actually show her strength. She does that a little bit in this game, but it's, it, it's people. It, every, every character in the series gaslights Kairi so hard. I, whew, I did feel there was a, a, a big improvement with the voice acting. A lot of Kingdom Hearts voice acting feels a bit stiff. There, there was one moment where I was kind of eh, to the voice acting, uh, but it, overall, I think the voice acting was really good. I think the writing. Um, w w was it was about on par with other Kingdom Hearts entries. The only my only gripe with with the actual story content is with um, how how they did Kyrie. Just please give me a give me a good game with Kyrie. G g give her something to do, please. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory is a game a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans may feel comfortable skipping, but if you're not opposed to what the gameplay offers, I think there will really be something special for you here, if not just for being a game you can chill with on and off, listening to all the great music. Personally, if it wasn't for fear or spoilers, I would have waited for a price drop of this game. There's definitely a lot of content and care put into it, but I don't know, a $60 price tag? Ew, it was certainly a good game, but it's nothing really mind-blowing. The nostalgia is great, and it made me happy during my time with it. If anything, I wanted to go back and play the other Kingdom Hearts games. Others may get more or even less mileage out of it, and you may replay tracks to get perfect scores and all that. It really just depends on how you react to the core gameplay, and it's okay if you don't like the gameplay. That, that's perfectly understandable, considering it's really the first Kingdom Hearts that doesn't feature any true combat. But the game, by all accounts, is still really good, and it's the perfect game to get the franchise geared up for the story ahead.